Welcome to this very special broadcast here at Cafe Delight, benefiting Indian Way School. Yep. And uh, you know, Regan, I enjoy TV shows where you get a chance to go back into the kitchen and mm -hmm. get a chance to sample food. And here at Cafe Delight is no exception. Yeah, we're, we're going to reveal some of the secrets of how they get things done here every day, including the investigation. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, the lemonade. <laughs> so we're going to go check that out. Let's go check it out. So we're definitely going to check that out. And uh, I got to tell you, I'm excited about this. Like more than anything else, I guess I could say that when you get an opportunity to go back in a kitchen, uh, you see what kind of... Uh, see what the staff's made of. Exactly. So let's go take a look at some of the things that you see every day here on sale down here at Cafe Delight, freshly made by the hands of the staff here at Cafe Delight, putting such love and commitment into the food. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. Yeah, okay. So let's go check it out. So we're in the back here of Cafe Delight, and uh, we're going to meet Dana. And uh, Dana makes the sandwiches over here. Um, Dana, good morning to you. Morning. Now, these sandwiches are made fresh every single day. What what time to get started on, on this process? Uh, between 7.30 and 8. And uh, what, what kind of sandwich are you making today? This looks like fresh turkey. It is. It's uh, smoked turkey breast. Uh, and uh, fresh lettuce, of course. Yep, of course. Everything is fresh every day. Now, did you have to go to school for this? Yeah, he trained me. Yeah. <laughs> now, when you're ma when you're making a sandwich, uh, like the the whole process, I guess it's 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 a labor of love too, because of the fact that uh, that each sandwich is made uh, meticulously um, for uh, Keith and Heather's uh, specifications. Oh yeah, and it's you want to make it the way you want to eat it, so I make it as if I'm making it for myself. Well, you definitely can tell that it's really good too. Look at Thank that. You. Uh, I'm actually excited about this. Okay, so here we go. Then try this sandwich here. Mmm. Mm hmm. This is a dream job. Look how thick that is. Made fresh every day. And mom, talk, mom, if you're watching, sorry about the food in the mouth. So good. <laughs> so here we are in the back at Cafe Delight, and this is what Peter does every single day to make the lemonade. Now let me ask you something very quickly. Sure. Uh, first of all, uh, you probably recognize Peter from uh, Exposed. He's been on there many times. Now, uh, let me ask you, like, how many lemons does it take to make one pitcher of lemonade? Um, it takes about 50 to 60 lemons. You're kidding me. I am not joking. We cut up 50 to 60 lemons every day. Unbelievable. So what, what you already done here, um, that's not even like uh, the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. No, 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 it's just the beginning of it. We just, this is just cutting it up and getting the lemon juice out. We also have to, of course, make all the lemonade together. Yeah. So it's uh, the, the special ingredients, of course, is being lemons, uh, lemon juice, sugar, and water. Um, well, actually, I can't tell you what it is. Oh, really? Oh, I it like that. It will tell you how it is. I it like can, that. It can't be done, but we do. I'll show you right now, we really do squeeze out all our lemons. Now this, now this is not your regular. Um, um, no, this is a commercial, um, commercial squeeze, lemon squeezer. Um, we already went through one of these. This is our second one. There's many lemons we make a day. Sometimes we make more than one pitcher a day. Obviously, we have, we go through many pitchers. So that's amazing. Yeah, we already burnt through one, and we're gonna. Hopefully this one will last one. There you go. Yeah. But if but if it burns out, you're gonna get another one. Obviously, of course. Everybody loves a fresh lemonade every day. Yeah, it's really good. So uh, the last question is, is that can I try some? Of course you can. All right. So I'm definitely gonna uh, get a chance to uh, uh, try some lemonade. First of all, Garcon, lemonade. I've always wanted to say that. Yeah, it's really good. Good. 
Yeah, no, it's really, it's really, really, really good. Yeah, there's no, and you know, you can tell there's no powder in here. There's no, 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 no none of that stuff. No, no, that you can tell right off the bat. Just lemon juice and and, and a lot of love. You can a lot tell. of love, a lot of love. There you go. Make, make some muscles. Show them. See, if it wasn't for those muscles there, Ooh, ladies, check it out. Check it out, ladies. You would never get the lemonade. There you go. So again, you know, this is the stuff that they do here at Cafe Delight. Make great lemonade, make great sandwiches, and so on and so forth. But there's still a lot more that we have to show you here oh, at Cafe Delight. There's a lot Delight. of prepping. There's a lot of prepping to everything in here. That's right. And uh, we're going to show you even more so. So stick around. Uh, this is a very, very special broadcast here at Cafe Delight, benefiting uh, Indian Way School, right here on Mohawk TV, Community First. Well, if you're just joining us, we welcome you here to Cafe Delight for this very special broadcast benefiting Indian Way School and their great initiative to raise money for their school. Listen, every so once in a while, you get a chance to meet some great people here in our community helping animals, helping people. And just like Keith and Heather, their daughter is helping out a little kitty cat by the name of Pumpkin. So we're going to go meet Pumpkin and we're going to talk to uh, Chloe, and we're going to find out all about this wonderful cat. We're here at Keith and Heather's daughter, Arunya Awi, and uh, she has a very, very, very special cat here. What's your cat's name? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Can you tell us about Pumpkin? Why does she have a cone on her? Well, it's a he, and he has a cone on because uh, we're going to bring him in the house. Okay, and that's so that he doesn't. Um, that's so he doesn't eat all his uh, uh, his his cat food. Is that why? Is that why you put a cone on him? No, uh, it's just because uh, he scratches his eye. It's infected there. Oh, okay. Well, and 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 from what your your daddy told me that you saved him, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. What was wrong with uh, uh, what was wrong with Pumpkin? Well, he had a bullet in his leg. Oh no. But the bullet's out now though, right? Yeah, because we took him to the vet a lot of times. Yeah. He's almost a kitten. Oh really? Yeah, but he's not small. No, he's a big cat, huh? But still kind of a kitten though. Yeah. Well you really take very good care of uh, your, your of pumpkin. Yeah, I I do. Yeah. I take my new cat. <laughs> I think that you are really, really, really special that you take care of Pumpkin and you save Pumpkin. I thank you very, very much we for doing that. We had another cat, but it was black and it was a boy. Really? He was trying to get his cone off. He went like that. I see that. Ow. Fuck it. Fuck it. What do you say? Ow! Me? What do you say? Uh, see, now we're for coming to support the new way school. Now we're for coming to support the Indian way school. See, it's not just it's not just coffee okay. here at uh, the Keith and Heather house. It's about the kitty cats too. Okay. Now, now for uh, for uh, this great interview with your kitty cat, and you did a really good job with taking care of Pumpkin. Okay. Okay. So we'll talk to you later. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.